with the national average of gasoline hitting 380 a gallon, according to AAA. And that's actually the highest level for this time of year in more than a decade. Will energy's gains start to chip away at consumer spending and cause some pain for retail? Joining me now with the oil take is Denton Keen Sigrana, chief oil analyst at OPIS. And for retail, Ike Boroshow, senior analyst at Wells Fargo Securities. Welcome to both of you. Denton, I'll start with you. Yesterday, we spoke with a technical analyst who wasn't so sure if oil could run much higher from here. Um, what do you think? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if it goes much higher because these levels alone are uh, a little causing a little more pain than we're used to. Sure, absolutely. And yeah, we're at the highest levels of the year, trailing off just a little bit today. But all things considered, with the supply cuts, um, U.S. inventories have drawn in each of the past four weeks to the tune of oil. Also, yeah, we could still see some more upside for, for crude oil. Uh, as that pertains to retail gasoline, though, we're kind of fortunate in the time of year in that we're starting, vacations are over, no one's really clamoring for gasoline, so demand should start to trail lower as well. WTI crude is around $86 a barrel right now. You think we go much higher than here? You know, we all, we know the risks. Inventories are low. A hurricane could hit. Prices could spike for something like that. But what would it take to really drive us upwards of $100 a barrel? Yeah, I think you need some sort of event that's probably unforeseen right now, whether that's one of the other OPEC nations running into a, a real issue with production. Maybe maybe it's Libya. Maybe it's Iraq. Maybe it's Nigeria, which always have their, their struggles here and there. But for the most part, outside of a hurricane, God forbid, another war, um, you know, I, I see a couple dollars more of, of upside, but probably not that much more. What could, let's say I'm Joe Biden and I want to get gasoline prices down. What else can I do? I mean, can I turn to U.S. producers, as our, our Pippa Stevens has told us, are almost back to where we were pre-pandemic in terms of output. Um, we've done the SPR releases. What, what else, what other measures are there? Well, one, of the, one thing that's been happening, actually, and the, the Biden EPA has been pretty liberal with these, is, is, uh, is RVP basically switching from summer-grade gasoline to winter-grade gasoline earlier. Hmm. Uh, one was issued for Florida because of the hurricane recently. And then you had one issued for Arizona because they pull gasoline not only from California but from the east, uh, and a couple of refineries in El Paso have had some issues. So they've got an EPA waiver, too. So these waivers do help uh, the supply situation with, with gasoline. So I would suspect that considering if there's any more, obviously, storms that impact supply, you'll see more of these waivers. But that's one of the one of the tools in the tool belt. And I guess the other way to ask it is, have we put in the highs for the year? And I'll, I'll put on the hat of energy investors. Now we're obviously going to focus on the consumer kind of anguish from all of this. But energy investors are, are starting to say, OK, this is one part of the market reliably up for the second half of the year. If I could ask you it kind of from that point of view, would you be encouraged the gains could continue or a little bit cautious? Cautious, especially on retail gasoline. We're entering the time of year, like I said, where demand is down a little bit. But also, we're going to be manufacturing a lot of fall and winter grade gasoline. And there's a couple of aspects to that. The formulation for gasoline has these different components. And one of those components is a lot cheaper because you could use more of it in the wintertime than the summertime. That should keep prices low. And also, ethanol is really cheap. Most of the gasoline, gasoline in the United States has about a 10 percent ethanol component. Ethanol versus some markets is more than a dollar lower. So I think the cheap ethanol could kind of keep retail prices from, from really getting too far out of control. Fascinating. Denton, thank you so much. We appreciate it today.